If you are designing and building complex large microservices based application, then sometimes it's difficult to manage them. So API Gateway provides a single endpoint for all the microservices. It sits between client and the internal microservices. It is working as a reverse proxy and routing request from client to backend services. Hi, I am Rajat. In this video, we will see how we can implement API Gateway in .NET Core with simple commands and basic configuration using OCLot package. Alright, so I am using the Visual Studio code to create the API Gateway. Uh, but before implement the API Gateway, I am going to create two API in .NET Core. So I am going to open the terminal and then create the first API through the .NET command. Okay, so first service has been created successfully. Let's build it. Okay. Okay, so it's building successfully and uh, the first thing we have to do is to change the port. I'm going to delete the HTTPS port. I will use only the HTTP protocol and then change the port from 5000 to 1. Save it and then change the controller name from uh, Okay, so change the weather forecast, delete it and give your name. I'm going to give the first service controller and then change it to uh, all the references. So I think uh, I have changed it everywhere and then rename the class file name as well. Okay, so build it again. Okay, so let's create the second service. Open the new terminal and then do the same thing. Give the name second service. Okay, second service has been created successfully and do the same thing which we have done in the first service. Remove the HTTPS protocol and change the port from 5000 to 2. Save it and then change the controller name. So this time I am giving the second service controller. Change all the references. Save it and then build this application.
okay so we are done now we have to create the api gateway so open the new terminal and then create the api gateway so the command is dot net new web app so this time we will take the web app and then give the api gateway okay so the api gateway project has been created build this application with .NET build okay it's done now we have to uh, download the aclog package from the NuGet so I'm going to download the OCLot and I'm taking the 16.0.1 version you can take it uh, uh, which is suitable for your .NET core project okay so okay so it's downloaded successfully so restore this uh, project and then build it again okay so in the bin folder you can see the oclot.dll now we have to add this oclot in our startup class file so we have to only add the package and the service package name we have to add two pack namespace oclot dot dependency injection oclot dot middleware and then add the service services dot add oclot in the configuration method and in the configure we have to add the app dot use oclot dot wait save it and then we have to give the oclot configuration in the app setting dot json so i have already prepared for this project okay so what i have done here like i have give the base url and uh, uh, give the upstream path template and the downstream path so what does that mean that, uh, uh, that you can hit the api first service and it route to the first service our first services and we have to set our port so our port is 5001 and for the second service our port is the 5002 host is the local host so i think we are good okay and we have set the http protocol because we are not using the https okay so let's build this project again i will put the ocelot uh, url so you can take the reference from there and customize it according to your uh, application so this is very easy it can you know pull that uh, json from the ocelot uh, uh, website okay so now it's ready and uh, we have to run this uh, all the services and see whether it's working fine or not so first let's run the first service okay so it's running and it's uh, running on this uh, 5001 protocol let's run the another service
okay so it's running on the 5002 protocol now run the uh, api gateway okay so i'm verifying the uh, ocelot dot uh, i mean the ocelot configuration whether it's working fine or whether it's uh, i have implemented uh, all the things properly or not so this is the you know very important part for the api gateway it should be you know configured properly otherwise you will get an error second service first service service seconds dot to the first services okay now let's run the api gateway okay so it is saying that uh, i mean throws an error and it's saying that this protocol is already in use so we have to give the another protocol because it's already in use remove this uh, http s from here and then give the okay so 5000 is uh, available port and then put the SSL we don't want the SSL port and okay so application URL CDP is localhost and the port is the 5000 so let's build this application again and run it again okay so the api gateway is up and running properly on the local host and the, on the 5000 uh, port let's see whether it's running fine or not on the uh, chrome okay so i have already copied the base url and so i am putting over here and our first service is the api and then i will use the first service okay so it's working fine now check the second service okay so you can see that uh, without uh, changing the base url it's routing the request to the our internal services so all the services are working fine and api gateway is working and it's successfully uh, redirecting call to the background services so uh, that is all for the api gateway so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe my channel thank you